what's up everybody? Welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh Basinger here, and as you can see, we've got the second installment of the 2015 Basinger versus 2020 Basinger video series. A huge thank you to our Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible. And if you want to check out uh, the original round that this first footage came from, it's the Mixed Bag Match number two. So here we are at Hole 1 Wing Deer Park Disc Golf Course in Johnson City, Tennessee. This is a 2015 Basinger up to bat first. Apparently thought I could go directly through that tree. Um, as you can see, I did not. Going with the same line here in 2020 and just left that one quite a bit short. Uh, you'll see when we get up there. Loving the grass out in the fairway that used to be out there in 2015. It's not quite there anymore, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see here is 2020 me. Uh, gonna, looks like I'm going to go with a little jump putt here. Putting with the soft pilots from Streamline Discs. Shout out to Barbarian Stronghold for those uh, pilots. I'm absolutely loving them. Uh, as you can see, 2015 Basinger here supporting the Bullet Bill shirt. Gotta love it. Uh, that's a tap in for a par in 2020. And this is going to be a tap in in 2015 for a bogey. So right off the bat, got one stroke. Uh, object of this series is kind of to uh, see if I've improved. Got my Discraft Soul in hand here, which has since been taken out of the bag. <laughs> Not particularly for that shot, but it kind of helps me feel like I made a good decision. Um, I replaced that with the Castaplast uh, Surveyor that we actually just did a review on. Now, as you can see, I landed almost in the same exact spot. So I really like those woods over on the right side of the fairway on hole two here. I mean, wh why land in the fairway when you can just, you know, go see a little bit more of nature over here. Uh, actually got out there in 2020. I was pretty happy with that shot. Here I am once again in 2015. Got out again, so uh, my approach game is uh, working, you know, five years difference. It's still working about the same, it looks like. So, putting with uh, my Uncle Jerry's Yeti Pro AVR there. Uh, it should be noted that this original footage was from, as you saw, a mixed bag match, uh, a bag swap, if you will, challenge, and uh, missed both of those putts there. But, uh, so I'm not actually using my preferred discs during the 2015 footage. As you can see, I'm two over and one over. Uh, definitely not showing you how this course needs to be played. Here I am in 2020. Looks like I've got a fission photon in my hand. Just kicked right. I don't know what I was doing going with a fairway driver there just not a smart choice uh, same here but as you can see I kind of got through everything a little bit of lucky a uh, little bit of luck rather uh, off in the woods once again I just wanted to show off as much of this course as possible and I'm obviously doing a really good job of that once again another pretty good upshot there in 2020 so Glad to see that I'm able to at least get back in the fairway once I'm off in the woods, the deep woods. I don't know if I was actually giving that a run or just trying to set up or lay up there rather. Definitely giving this one a run in 2020. Ooh, a little high, but uh, definitely online. And plus two both years. Not really excited about that. Hey, there's Uncle Jerry's Yeti Pro AVRs. He swears by him. So here's hole four. This one has opened up quite a bit, and you'll see that right off the bat. All those trees to the right are gone. Um, it's a lot more open now than it was then. <laughs> uh, just a little bit of grip lock, or a lot a bit of grip lock. You can see I've got my uh, MVP Octane in my hand here. Tossed it out there, but turned it over. And if I remember correctly, yeah, I got quite a bit of fortunate skip off of that grate there. So that really kind of helped my shot. 
trying to get out here in 2015. Don't think I went with a forehand roller, but it turned out that way. I'm trying to decide what's longer in 2015, my hair or my shorts. <laughs> Can't really tell which one is longer. <clears throat> Excuse me, so. Now here in 2020, looks like I'm just gonna do a little jump putt layup, get it up near the basket. And uh, well, maybe a, a kind of a bid, which was kind of silly from that distance. But I hit the pole and sat down. Here I am in 2015, absolutely not caring about uh, OB rules and the road. I'll just putt directly from the road. Tap in there for, I just tapped the other one in as well, wasn't on video. Hole five, some of this trees actually came out as well. I've got my uh, fission photon in my hand again. And just threw that one straight at the ground. Um, if I had to height on that one, I feel like that one would have been a part job because I know how that disc flies and it was on the line I intended just quite a bit low. Decent shot there. Weird roll and skip. I remember that thing going crazy on the fairway there. So this is my first flick of the round in 2020. Horrible, as uh, you would expect from me, because I do not like flicking. So I got up there for a putt in 2015, but wasn't able to can it. Let's see what I can do here in 2020. Mmm, a little bit right side. Unfortunate spit out there. Hole number six here, um, playing the left side basket. Uh, it's kind of a turnover shot for me. It would be a flick. For a lefty, but I just don't have that much of a flick, so I try and do a, a turnover. Uh, apparently not there. Uh, but I do attempt to turn over here. This is an MVP orbital. Throw it a little bit softer and let it get some turn. And it shouldn't have flexed out, but it looks like it actually did. That massive tree right there in the fairway is actually gone now, unfortunately. I remember, unfortunately. Uh, I remember that was a very pretty tree back in the day, five years ago. So, looks like it, with that flexing out a little bit, I was still a little bit further away from the basket than I wanted. But, should be, if I can can this putt, then that's two threes. Yep, so, plus four in 2015 and plus three in 2020. Obviously not the round I was hoping for, but... Hopefully I can pick back up on the back nine on both of these rounds. Hole seven here really reminds me of one of the holes. I want to say hole four or something at Winged, uh, at Warrior's Path. Kind of a similar shot uh, in that it goes a little bit downhill off the tee pad and then back uphill. Very similar holes in my opinion. It might be hole five or something. I can't exactly remember, but some of you may know which one I'm talking about. I believe actually it is hole five. But here at Winged Deer, as you can see, looks like I went the outside route around that tree. And here I've got my uh, Z Tour Series Page Pierce Buzz. That thing's absolutely beautiful and it is money. Like literally, it has the money stamp on it. Got up and down with both. And looks like I'm going to be staying at plus four and plus three. Moving on to hole number eight here. Uh, this is a, a good hole to just open up on and get down by the, try to get down by the basket. I don't quite have the arm for it. I think it's close to 450 maybe. Definitely don't have the arm for it when throwing it 200 feet directly in the air. So that one's gonna fade out to the right side and be pretty horrible. Looks like I've got my octane in my hand again. Tried to put a little bit of Anheuser on it and get it to flex back, and it kind of did, but just a little bit too much turn on that. I think there was a, a little grip lock involved in that situation. You can see me on the right side of the fairway here. If I can get up and down from this shot right here, 
then there's potential to gain a stroke on 2015 Basinger. Ooh, gave that one a good bid. I don't think I've ever actually toed that hole. I uh, just don't play wing deer very often, so uh, just haven't played it enough to really get down there and to that hole. That's a four for 2015 Basinger. I gained a stroke right there. Hole number nine here. This is always one of my favorite holes on the course. There's a left and right pin. Uh, we're playing the left of pin on this video. Looks like I've got my orbital again, trying to turn over. And just kind of didn't get over on it. But I should have a putt from uh, those trees there. As you can see, it was ridiculously uh, grown up back in 2015 there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all that stuff right there you see in, in, in front of me is gone now in 2020. Besides the trees, all the overgrowth is gone. So that right there in 2015, I would be standing right in the middle of all that junk. So Up and in for my first birdie of the video. Wow. Feel good about that one. Uh, Wing Deer's one of those courses kind of similar to, uh, like I, I would consider it kind of like... Um, Morristown Kiwanis and uh, Warrior's Path where it's kind of uh, you can two every hole out there if you hit your lines and uh, obviously not hitting my lines in either round you can see it's quite a bit more grown up back here in 2015 I know that Tim Barr I'm sure had a ton to do with uh, this being opened up and all the course maintenance in that area so Huge shout out to Tim Barr. If you see him out on a course, thank him for everything he does for disc golf in our area. Um, with that one, it was an okay, it ended up okay, uh, but I, I just really didn't put any arm on it. I stopped my arm a little bit early, so didn't actually give it a run to get down near the basket. Horrible putt attempt. See if I can make the correction in 2020. And I do. <coughs> Excuse me. So now six up in 2015 and two up in 2020. Uh, getting a bit of a lead here. This is hole number 11. Uh, another one of my favorite holes on the course being a lefty. Uh, you can do like a, either a hyzer over the top or like this little flex line like I try to do here. And I was, it was so unfortunate to hit that tree. I threw my octane there. Uh, if I had landed maybe one foot to the left, I would have hit the hit the bottom of the hill and skipped up and maybe had a chance for a putt. That one right there may have been my longest drive ever straight up into the sky. So that's that's definitely a, a, a great shot. No, no, it wasn't. I was joking. So as you can see here, if I had hit, if I had had not hit that base of that tree, it would have skipped right up in there. What I had a a legitimate putt for a two, but not today. It's Jerry's, Uncle Jerry's, I, don't, I think it was an orc, if I'm not mistaken. From the mixed bag match. Shout out to Jason Ferguson and Alex Ferguson, the team BDGC, who was with me when I filmed, uh, they actually helped me film this back nine, or this uh, 2020 video. Going with my proxy here. A little bit wide and some tree love there. I should be down there for a putt. Not quite sure what I'm throwing here. Just the name of the game in 2015. Apparently I, I like to tr throw as high as possible. Doing really good at that. But as I was saying, uh, 2020 here, uh, check out the video. Uh, it's a Team BDGC casual round at Wing Deer with uh, myself, Alex Ferguson, and Jason Ferguson of Team BDGC. Puck for the two. Up and in. A little bit left side, and the basket gave me some love that time. So, uh, Back to one over. Uh, pretty happy with that, considering my start on this. Uh, pretty good putt there as well. <clears throat> now, hole 13 here is completely different now than it was in 2020, or 2015, rather. Uh, brand new tee pad and an entirely new fairway, so 
uh, your eyes are not deceiving you when you see this. It's a completely different hole. So. Uh, back then it was kind of just throw over the top and I went with the flick. Actually it looked like I got more distance out than I would have assumed from myself. Here in 2020 I just ended way up on the left side and just up there in nothing and somehow got out of there and I, the basket now is uh, kind of right where that pine tree is you can see there not pine the, the tree right there in the in the middle on the left so this is where the 2020 basket is really happy to get up and down from where I was hitting that putt felt so good to save a par on that after being up to the side so you can see uh, the basket in 2015 goes down the hill and we're going to be moving on to hole 14 another one that is pretty much completely different uh, it used to be up and over the top just like hole 13 but now it's uh, this straight shot just dead straight I'm throwing my Axiom Vanish here get it to turn over Ooh, hit the pin on that one I was really really pumped about that shot that's one of the better shots I've ever had on that hole. Once again, like I said, just a flick up and over the top of this. And just, <laughs> you could tell I was apparently not very happy with that shot. Throwing up towards the hill. And once again, this is another a di completely different basket placement. placement. As you can see, it's a raised pin which I, I kind of do miss that having a raised pin out there good putt for a raised pin I'll take that all day and a little tap in for a two got myself back to even in 2020 super pumped about that I've got my MVP photon new fission photon that my buddy uh, Dustin Elmore gave me in my hand throw it out wide and let it fade back in it did exactly what I wanted it to and once again I'm not exactly sure what I'm throwing here besides a early release that is high just like pretty much every other every other drive in 2015 lots of vintage going on there as you can see thought I could go right through it somehow manage that I got kind of a long putt here, looks like maybe uh, 35 feet or so for my two. And up and in. Definitely started feeling my putt after a while. And, whoo, barely squeaked that one over the cage. So this is hole 16. Uh, pretty wide open. Uh, it's a long, It's I believe it's the longest hole on the course. Basically just try and stay center cut fairway and go as far as you can. And I really just hazard my uh, octane a little bit too much there and ended right up under that tree. It's a bit unfortunate, but that's what's going to happen with an early release like that. Uh, that one, eh, you know, not too bad considering the rest of the drives I've had in 2015. Kept it low on probably the one that I should have thrown it a little bit higher. Tried to get up and down, couldn't quite do it. And as you can see here in 2020, I'm just pinched up underneath this tree. <coughs> Got up and down, leave myself a circle's edge putt, maybe a little bit inside the circle. It looks like I'm being super aggressive here. Uh, don't know what in my brain made me think I could actually make this hopping like a bunny towards the basket so here's my putt like I said just circles edge maybe a little inside and just way too low never even gave it a chance so it's unfortunate it took myself back to even now really not happy about that as I said this is one of those courses that that may be the only one that I, that one and maybe, I, I can't remember the one that was uphill, but there's a few that I really don't necessarily have a chance to, but most of the others I definitely do, especially this one, hole 17, 
just basically a lefty uh, hole here. And for some reason, I just cannot play this hole. This hole has got to me almost every time I've played this course. Uh, being a lefty, I should be able to throw something soft and easy and get fade right down. Just kind of like that shot, but uh, off the tee. Here in 2020, you can see I'm um, just in some nonsense over here. I, I should never end up over there being a lefty. It's kind of shameful, to be honest, but do have a seven-stroke lead on myself in 2015, so got a few to work with. Um... I kind of gave that one a run, but didn't really have any arm on it. See if I can hit this for three. Mm. Off the cage, a little low. My putting has definitely always been one of the parts of my game that I struggle with. Uh, sometimes when it's on, it feels really good, and then I just leave some stuff low. There's another buzz of mine. I've got an ESP buzz and a Z Tour Series buzz. Moving on to the final hole, hole 18, got my brand new Fission Photon in my hand. It's like a 175 gram Fission Photon. Um, just didn't get out. Uh, you just want to kind of hyzer around that outside. It'd be a good flick hole or a turnover hole for a righty. It's perfect set, perfectly set up for a lefty, just a placement shot out in the middle, but I just didn't. Neither time did I get out there where I wanted to. I have got out there before uh, and got a putt for a two, but for some reason, the last few holes on this horse, uh, <laughs> this horse, this course always get me for some reason. Very happy with that up shot there. I was definitely trying to say, at this point I, I was thinking I was even par, but uh, there was a little bit of a score discrepancy there, so one over. <laughs> Shout out to Alex Ferguson, trying his best to get out of the way. Didn't quite do it. But there's the tap in. I finish eight over and one over. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. No one's stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say Innova. Yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog. Give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some. And I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.